the Alexander Mosaic. Thought to have been created in around 100 BC, this masterpiece is arguably one of the most famous Roman mosaics. Originally discovered in Pompeii in 1831, the Alexander Mosaic was moved to the beautiful Italian city of Naples, where it has remained on display for the last 172 years. Despite its previous positioning as floor decor in the luxurious gardens of the House of the Fawn in Pompeii, this work of art has long been displayed on a wall in the National Archaeological Museum, which seems appropriate, as it is thought to be an imitation of an ancient Hellenistic fresco, which has unfortunately been lost to us. In his Natural Histories, Pliny the Elder talks of this fresco, painted by Philozenus Veretria, the Macedonian king Cassander, describes it as a representation of a battle between Alexander the Great and the Persian king Darius III. It is commonly thought that both the fresco and the mosaic depict the Battle of Issus, an important victory for the great Macedonian conqueror whom we have come to know as Alexander the Great. The mosaic itself is vivid indeed, and it is clear that the Romans knew how to create an iconic and identifiable scene. The key figures are preeminent, and the differences between Alexander and Darius' army are as clear as night and day. Unsurprisingly, the figure Alexander is both prom prominent and distinctive. The classic curled hair, the gorgon armour, and his idealistically heroic situation in the forefront of the fighting tells us much about how the creator wished to portray the infamous general. Darius is also shown in a typical representation of a Persian ruler with tunic and trousers as befit a horse-riding people, and a classic cap that can only allude to the East. What is most striking, though, is how the Romans managed to make his defeat seem so noble. Darius may never have actually seen Alexander on the battlefield, but the terror captured in his expression, coupled with his apparent reluctance to flee, shows a sign of a true warrior facing death. It is no wonder, then, that this work of art should, even today, retain the interests of so many. The importance of this battle is evident in its various depictions throughout history, but never more so in the unusual amount of detail apparent in this work. Created out of about one and a half million tiny coloured tiles called tesserae, and arranged in gradual curves called opus vermiculatum, there is no doubt that an incredible amount of time and effort went into creating this beautiful mosaic an amazing replica which, taken the place of the original in the grounds of the House of the Fawn, gives us some idea of just how incredible such a creation is. Originating in 2003, the project took an eight-man team 22 months and $216,000 to complete. Imagine then how long such a commission would have taken in the ancient world. The Alexander Mosaic is a masterpiece, but its creation leaves us with more questions than answers. Who would have commissioned such a work? Who could have afforded it? Why would a Roman wish to have a portrayal of a battle between Greeks and Persians in their back garden? Some things may always remain a mystery, and maybe this, above all else, is what makes the Alexander Mosaic so intriguingly beautiful. <laughs>